Okay, we're standing on the back tee in hole 13. The first thing you'll recognize if you're looking at this from above is how big the tees are. Uh, like, like we talked about on hole two and a few other holes, taking your par three tees, making them as big as they can. Again, so they kind of survive the typical wear and tear you'll see January through March each season. Um, the complaint we got through the focus group session was on this green complex. It used to be banked from right to left. It was much more elevated where anytime a ball will hit the back pin and you missed it just a little bit long or left, it would actually kick on down slope and go out of bounds because the out of bounds were very close there. So we've actually completely flipped this green over and brought it back down a little bit. So now you've got some backside containment both left and behind. There's a new bunker on the right hand side to keep you from going further right. But it's now kind of set in, instead of being elevated real high, it's now set in with some containment all the way around. So you can be a little more errant on this hole than you were before. From a grassing perspective, we're actually gonna bring the native in off the left-hand side in an unplay area, uh, a non-playable area. So you'll see a lot more native plants that are already existing. They're coming towards the tea complexes and having a little more of a narrow approach area that's funneled down by some landscape on both sides. So I think we've cured the playability issues on this hole and I think the members will really like the new changes to hole 13.